Hey, what's going on guys? Go again Z here. In this video, I'd like to introduce a new core feature within Wukong.js. So, uh, I've changed the user interface slightly a bit so you don't see the version and the relative strength the, at the moment. That's because I'm going to be adding uh, difficulty levels in a format of bots uh, or personalities. It's not yet implemented, but that's uh, the very next step to consider. But for now, uh, I made this PGN recording within the game and this was very tough to, to do because uh, I, I made uh, the exact format of PGN that is supported by the Arena GUI so later on you can import this PGN into the Arena GUI and see all the scores, time taken for moves, game results, so literally all the hitters and, if, and also if it starts from, not from the starting position but, but from some sort of an FEN user-defined FEN, it also been reflected. So it's it's really made for Arena and also another option would be to uh, the, to copy-paste this PGN straight away into leeches.org for analysis uh, in the browser. So without further ado, let me just uh, quickly demonstrate you this. So uh, opening moves uh, are not uh, so well the first move is considered to be instant uh, those engine moves that are book moves uh, no information no additional information now this is this is uh, uh, this is 11 seconds taken by white to play still the book move here but if I force engine to start calculating you see it's starting well first of all uh, I've implemented the standard algebraic notation which was a little bit of a challenge as well even though it's quite pretty trivial to do but anyway so here it prints uh, the UCI form uh, he prints this uh, principal variation line in the UCI format also the score and uh, the depth so here is the score uh, here is the depth and here is the time taken by the engine to make a, this certain move. So this is how, how it looks like. So yeah, uh, also the sounds obviously working. Probably just want to make it a little bit louder so you could hear the sounds as well. Okay, so no matter how many games we're playing here, so it's all kind of working. By the way, uh, check has also been reflected, which wasn't really that trivial to implement, so this plus symbol. And also if I get checkmated, well, uh, let me just try to uh, finish this game quickly to get checkmated as soon as possible, just to show you. Okay, yes, uh, also there is a slight issue with the sounds uh, when the checkmate in sequence is coming, so uh, I didn't get fixed that. Uh, so the sounds are disappearing because the engine is moving kind of too fast. Uh, I'll fix that, but this doesn't regard the uh, PGN, so it's not a big deal really. Okay, so... Can I can I can I do something still? Okay, and this now it prints this hash symbol, which means we're, we're done, mate, and the game results so black wins, and also mate. It also should be reflecting threefold repetition, fifty rule move, uh, fifty rule move repetitions, stalemate, uh, yeah, and insufficient material as well. Yeah, so that's that's kind of it. So just. Well, probably really lots of debugging still is needed to make sure every single little feature works perfectly well here. But at very least already, I can start demonstrating you the stuff regarding this PGN. So first option, we can simply copy this game and paste this to Lee Chess, call, uh, uh, click this import button and hold on a sec. Maybe it doesn't like Hold on a sec, maybe maybe it just doesn't like this result. Sorry. Why are you kidding me? It was just working, I swear. I swear it was working. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, probably shouldn't really do this hash symbol. Oh, okay, well, they, they they do just a, a little bit different way. So yeah, if you're copy pasting in the game that has has resulted with a checkmate. Just uh, don't don't include this, as I've just revealed. So now we can have a look at this game, how it's been played uh, on Leeches, and obviously also we can start the analysis, see how the things go in, and here we got our checkmate. So this is it. But another interesting option would be to actually click this uh, buttons, uh, which uh, would force the 
app to download so a uh, player you, you're free to leave this as is or you just can, can uh, uh, enter enter your username so this is need in, in order to make uh, uh, in order to fill the headers of the PGN file. Also, well, th this might be a little bit uh, not 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 really that great automated. But here I just ask the user to type the color so the PGN headers are getting uh, done uh, appropriately. So here I was playing with white pieces, so I can simply type white here. Click OK, and now this game.pgn has been downloaded. Well, probably uh, later on, uh, when the, there would be the bot personalities, uh, uh, I can alter the, uh, this name, like uh, personality name versus player name.pgn, things like that. But at the moment, this is just a proof of concept. So we have uh, the, very, uh, the very minimum set of haters. So uh, who is playing with the white and username here, who is playing with the black, so Okunjas by default, this but here would be some personalities later on. Uh, event, site, so it's not doesn't matter that much. So date and the game results. So the most essential things to consider and the game itself. Now if we just try to open uh, Arena GUI and I click PGN open and go into downloads game pgn open so it sees the games uh whatever header is available he just kind of prints those okay so i just can click this and we are within the game and have a look at the scores including the maiden scores here so we are playing through the game and the first move that engine would start calculating it gives us the score and depth already so it's getting parsed from from here, uh, here, here. So here we have the score slash depth slash uh, uh, space and, and the number of seconds, the rounded number, not very precise, but still like around one second per, per end, uh, uh, one seconds was taken for engine. So the idea is that after, if you would be analyzing this game after, you would uh, you would make sure that you know. Uh, not only the scores, but also the search depth, the principal variation line that engine has been calculating there, and also uh, the actual... Well, it doesn't have time control, but at very least you can see how long engine was, was thinking for. So only for one second, so there would be uh, different levels of difficulty, so in some, some, sometimes it would be thinking longer. So yeah, that's, that's how it works basically. And it would just keep, uh, so again, like, you see, like the user move doesn't have that information. The user move only uh, would be affecting, uh, well, I just don't understand. Yeah. Uh, but this bug in, uh, I've seen this bug in Arena before, even uh, with, with other games, not, not only this, uh, not, not only this PGN, even, 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 even when I was storing the game uh, from Arena itself. That was something very strange happening with uh, something very strange happening with the clocks. Well, it seemed like for an engine, it, it prints uh, it prints correct time. But but on the other hand, it seems like well, I'm a bit confused to be honest. So well, it needs to be worked around a little bit. So. Well, anyway, anyway, just just want to show you the maiden score. So starting from here, it's already uh, it sees the maiden score, which is good. So maiden two, and finally maiden one, and mate, and we're done. Yeah, uh, I'm slightly a little bit confused by uh, uh, why the clock is not reflecting the time uh, appropriately for some reason. So it's, it it shows like t uh, nine seconds. Yeah, nine seconds for Rukun. Uh, well, it's hard to say. Yeah, probably because the opening moves are not taken into account. So, I'm just wondering, just hold on a sec, if I have a look. So, we have this, okay, seconds, seconds, one second. Yeah, probably, maybe summarizing only for, well, at very least, this is the exact, PG, uh, this is the exact format of PGN. Uh, if we just uh, play the game within the arena GUI and then store it, well, at the very least, we can just try to check this one more time. So if I just try to play 
within the arena GUI and okay so let's wait a little bit to give a user move so two seconds for user okay so engine plays and just wait a little bit and five seconds for user and let's just try to save this uh, no sorry X save as example PGN save and now I want to open this one yeah but I, I've been trying quite pretty few so here is the format saved by arena GUI okay so this is the bishop move okay so uh, evaluation depth seconds taken okay and this is Caslin. Oh, yeah, you see, like, it doesn't even, it doesn't even uh, record. Yeah, it doesn't even record it, quite pretty interestingly. I thought it would be recording the user time. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, so probably, I don't know, probably it's impossible to, re to reflect uh, the time for user. I don't know, it's hard to say. It's a, it's a little bit complicated but anyway uh the good thing is that at least for, for 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 now we can see the seconds being taken for uh for per move basically for for user so well if if i if i come up with a, some sort of a better solution regarding this i would definitely change change this later on but at the moment i just wanted to share the proof of concept implementation that actually allows us to uh, import the game and have all the square all the principal variations all the scores okay so scores here uh, and yeah sometimes it even tries to reflect the uh, users uh, uh, to affect the users clock yeah so uh, really need to research this a little bit more but yeah so sorry my cat is talking to me hold on a sec okay sorry I'm back so yeah okay so at very least we can upload these games to arena gui and analyze them so maybe not all the information is that accurate but at, at very least the most uh, or the most essential the principal variations by the engine the evaluations including the mating scores so i think this is quite pretty nice already and again like uh if we have a look at the lead chess so uh something that I've done that I've done here uh, I'm not sure yeah probably yeah made in so yeah scores are not being reflected here yeah, only the result but it's I, I think it's like it's quite pretty cool that we can play through the game on Lee chess just like we did uh, just like we did here so it's not a kind of dead game anymore so now you can bring it with your own self either either copy paste or download and then analyze it which is the core feature basically for chess players well, okay guys so i think this this is it from my side uh from my side for now and again like i really hope that quite pretty soon uh bot personalities are about to come here so to really kind of because uh really lots of people already has been uh complaining that uh, it's kind of too strong. I mean, like uh, it's around. It's uh, the the most uh, the stronger the, the strongest level is around nineteen twenty elo points, which is not really that strong. Again, like if you are uh, a CM at very least, you will probably easily crush it. But for those who rated like seventeen hundreds, eighteen hundreds, nineteen hundreds, maybe even. So for these guys, like the vast, the vast majority of, of the chess players, basically, well, well to my personal opinion, uh, for them, this is a little bit too strong. So uh, for them, uh, I would like to make uh, the engine plane uh, slightly weaker. So it would, so it was, it would be interesting to play with. So that's some sort of kind of, that's kind of the plan. And, and again, like, uh, the particular strength would be uh, within the bot related information so I would be making a photo of a personality maybe a little chat window so it would be telling you something depending on, on the personality and well maybe commenting the game a little bit expressing some feelings like oh my god what has just happened if he gets checkmated or, or something so uh, I just try to bring uh, a bit of a fun there 
and well anyway the strength would be right over there so there, there won't be any like seconds uh, or something so uh, you would be able to pick up the proper uh, personality I guess this would be here in the GUI as well but just uh, adding a bit more pictures yeah well promoting for, uh, promoting to Queen would remain like this for now or to whatever piece so I, I really like this minimalist interface but again like we have some free spaces here and again like I, I was trying to make a uh, PGN on the right but then it violates the entire right of the background screen even if you have the high resolution screen like this still uh, I really want to have Sunakun on the left and this temple on the right because uh, this this is more like the design I uh, I really uh, how I personally want this to look like so I think this is fine yeah by the way uh, one last thing that uh, I don't know whether you have noticed that or not but uh, sorry just something has gone horribly wrong so uh, if you uh, if you playing through the game uh, it would start scrolling automatically so this would start scrolling automatically okay yeah and again like if you have any issues like those uh, I've just faced to just update uh, uh, update the site and this should be uh, should be resolved as far as this is the development version uh, some weird things can happen but if you update just to make sure that everything is cooperating uh, working okay that should be just fine okay so you see like it's scrolling down all the uh, all the time so all the time scrolling down and this is how it looks like this is how it works but okay guys so this is it from my side i hope you've enjoyed the video feel free to play around with Wukun JS, and from now on you can already be sharing your games in the commentaries and if there would be some interesting games I would be happy to uh, make some videos presenting those games to the to, uh, to the community so others could see what you achieved so far uh, by playing versus Wukun so this is it from my side guys uh, yeah I wish you all the best until the next time and take care